All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect, okay, those of you coming back to the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, whose Hebrew name is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem, in the name of Rahakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit sent from on high in these latter days via the Comforter through the Most High, through Yahweh Shai, all right, to the minds, all right, uh, of the prophets, all right, to uh, teach this word so that those who have ears to hear, all right, can uh, be gathered, uh, which we're here for the remnant, the elect. We're not here for the whole nation of Israel, we're here for the elect, all right, because the elect are going to be the ones that are appreciative of this word, you know, the downtrodden, just like at the time of Yahweh Shai, it was the downtrodden, the maimed, the halted, the blind, those who needed and understood that they needed, you know, help that uh, ultimately rolled with him, man, so that's who we're here for, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh GMS Dallas, we're gathered here today for a class, and uh, we're just going to roll in the spirit in Isaiah, the 51st chapter, um, whoever is going to read, um, start from the top. yeah, start from the top. And this is a this is a word of comfort to the elect. All right, this is not for the two thirds of our people. Okay, let's go. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-one, verse one, and it reads, "Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness." See, hearken unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, man. And who's following after righteousness here in these latter days? It's the remnant, the elect, those who are serious about this word, those who understand and the, the severity of the times we're in. This is to you. This ain't to the two-thirds of our people, even the, the uh, elect of the two-thirds who are in the nation of Israel. That's what we're going to start calling you Israelites who know you're Israelites, but you're, you're, you're in a reprobate spirit. You're just the elect of the two-thirds, Okay. We're not, we're not speaking to you. We're speaking to those who follow after righteousness. Go ahead. It says, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, into the hole of the pit whence ye are dead. Right, and that's speaking of ultimately Yahweh Shai, man. As we're going to see as we read through this chapter, Yahweh Shai's presence is within this chapter and throughout the whole Old Testament. All right, Torah, uh, uh, Tanakh. Okay, he's all throughout it. Go ahead. Verse 2. Look, look up to Abraham, your father, mm -hmm. and Sarah that buried him. Mm -hmm. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Right. Now, why is that important? All right. Because that's where the promise lies for us. All right. Uh, when you go to the, the promise that was given unto Abraham, it was passed down unto Isaac. All right. And, and through Isaac, all right, uh, who had Jacob and Esau, the blessing of that holy land, which is where we're going to govern the whole entire planet Earth out of, it, it, it starts with Abraham. He's the one who's ultimately responsible for restoring all things as there was a falling away of the sons of God at his time. Okay, uh, uh, he was the one responsible through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because who did he go through? Melchizedek. That's why the scriptures had it a point to, to mention Melchizedek because ultimately that's our access to the blessing. It's through Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, and it was Abraham used as the figure to tie us to a very, very beautiful promise, man. Go ahead. Kind of precept. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 24. Start at verse 23. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, they that inhabit those wastes of the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one. Where, where are you at, brother? Isaiah, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 33 and 24. Okay. It says, Abraham was one, and he inherited the land. Mm. But we are many. The land is given us for the inheritance. 30, Ezekiel 33 and 24? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah, okay, say it. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Go ahead. Good. Ezekiel 33 and 24, it says, Son of man, they that inhabit those wastes of the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one, and he inherited the land, mm. but we are many. The land is given us for an inheritance. Mm. And we continue to read is going into judgment because of the idols, but the case in point was to have go what you said, Elder, how, you know, they talked about how Abraham was given the land, but it was given un us, unto us who are multiplied in the land right. as an inheritance. Right, because it says to you and your seed. Mm -hmm. Same thing was said to uh, uh, Isaac. And then somebody get Genesis, the uh, 10th chapter, 35th chapter in the 10th verse. Genesis 35 and 10. I got it. 
And who, and if you're away from the camera, just read a little louder. This is Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. It says, And the Most High said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob. Mm -hmm. But Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And the Most High said unto him, I am the Most High Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. Right. Be fruitful and multiply. And a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. So each... Each tribe is like unto a nation, man. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Through Judah, you have the, the royal lineage of David. Okay? And that's the, 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 the king's lineage, which Yahawashai came through. Go ahead. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee See? I will... See? And to thy seed after thee will I get to... The, the, the land which I gave unto Abraham and Isaac, you... Are the heir of that promise, and Jacob had twelve sons. All right, and what was it said about the uh, twelve sons in the latter days? What would happen? They would be as the sand of the sea, but a remnant will return. Well, why are we returning? <laughs> For the heirs to this very promise that we're reading. Go ahead, read it again. Just Genesis thirty-five and twelve, and the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee will I give it. And to thy seed, after thee, will I give the land. There you go. So that's all we need. We can go back to Isaiah 51. God. So, and then when you also looking unto Abraham, his works, his faith, that's how he was justified, through faith. All right, here it is. The Lord told Abraham, all right, it's through Isaac, this great promise that I'm passing down and giving unto you is going to be forwarded. But then he told him to put him to death. <laughs> so Man. just just imagine the, the faith that was needed. Because when you read in Hebrews 11, why was he so comfortable doing it? Mm -hmm. he, knew, he knew the Lord could raise him back up. He yeah. knew the Lord. He said, it says it. Mm -hmm. He knew. He believed, well, if you promise that you go give me this land, but then it's through him and I got to put him to death. Well, you must go raise him back. You go, you go raise him from the dead. What other conclusion can I come to? <laughs> right. Right. He believed on that level. Right. You got something? Yeah, I, got, I want to just back up what you're saying. This is Romans uh, 4 and 11. It says, and he received, and it's talking about our forefather Abraham, and he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had, yet being uncircumcised. There you go. He was uncircumcised. And that's why when you see this uh, concept of the uncircumcision in the New Testament, uh, they will be justified by faith, all right, through the faith of Abraham, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what ties the, the, the elect to Abraham. You Christians like to hijack Abraham as if Isaac and Jacob wasn't in the picture as well. It's still a whole narrative surrounding Abraham. Okay, go ahead. That he might be the father of all of them that believe, though they be not circumcised. Boom. And that's us. The, the way we came into this truth was the very way Abraham came into the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. In an in a uncircumcised state. All right. Your father was worshiping idols, just like Terah, his father was worshiping idols. You're not in your land. <laughs> Abraham was born, born where? Ur of the Chaldees. All right. The physical landmass of where Iraq is, the, the, the physical landmass of ancient Babylon. He was there. All right. And he saw the idols and everything in their purest form that we in our time have uh, awakened to the truth while the same idols are being practiced. Yep. Go ahead. That righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Mm. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had yet being uncircumcised. Mm. And he was he, gave, he, he was given that promise while he was uncircumcised. Yep. So that the, that should invigorate. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. We right. do have a chance. That's our story. Right. Right. We have, you know, rights to that same inheritance, heirs to that same inheritance just through our faith, man. Mm. Right. And the promise of yep. circumcision not being circumcised, you know, because mm -hmm. we didn't come into this thing knowing we was Israelites, keeping nope. the customs, you know, keeping the Passover, so on and so forth. <clears throat> One more verse. Mm -hmm. Shah. This is uh, Romans 4 and 13. It says, for the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law. To his seed. See, the Bible through Isaac was that seed yep. through Jacob, Jacob, who had 12 sons. sons yep. But it wasn't predicated upon the fact that you uh, the first covenant. Right. 
Okay, that promise was given before the first covenant was made. You know, go ahead. Romans 4, Romans 4 and 13, for the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. And he's mm -hmm. talking about the world of this Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we're really right. dealing with the line Isaac and Jacob because we know Abraham had other sons. His firstborn was through Hagar, you know. Right. But that shows that it's all just through the promise by faith. Right. You know, right. it was right. just set up in the spirit that way. We're justified by faith. Because there's, there's particular uh, traditions uh, that the sons of God were doing that Abraham had no idea about. He wasn't raised in a scenario to where he knew about them or were, was faithful to those particular things. He was justified by faith yep. in an uncircumcised state. So that's our very story, right. you know. So uh, we can go back to Isaiah 51. Got it. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51. I'm going to read verse 2 again. Look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bare you. Right, and that was a miracle birth, too. Yes, you know? it was. Mm -hmm. They were both older in age, just like John the Baptist's uh, father and mother. Older in age, and ultimately, hey. That's why Isaac's name laughed at Laughter. Because she laughed. Right, right, you know, right. When the angel came, you know. Right, right, right. The Lord is able to do the right things in situations where you wouldn't even believe. So all of this is uh, linked to faith. Go ahead. God, it says, For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Mm. For Yahweh shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all of her waste places and will make her wilderness like Eden. Right. See, all of these different, uh, where we live at, how destroyed this earth is. Like the Lord is, uh, we're living in a time that this is the generation. All right. I was listening to Apostle Gabar's video and he said the fate of the, uh, of the nation lies on the elect. And we know Yahweh Shah is the head of the elect. So what we're doing in this time, somebody get that scripture. Uh, the welfare of the earth, I believe it's oh, yeah. in the Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what we're doing, man, like, <laughs> you know, what we're doing is basically very important to the kingdom coming. Mm -hmm. Because this, this testimony would have to go out. We're not a part of a, of a, of a low level. This is big what we're doing. Oh, my bad. Wisdom of Solomon, what you say? 6 and 24. Okay. I can read it for you. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, this is a wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Woo! You the know, wise king is the upholding of the people. There you go. The multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, man. Like, even the heathen, like, they're, this message that we have, like, mm -hmm. their hope lies on this. Because Esau is going to destroy every goddamn thing. Yep, yep. The whole fate of the earth lies in this message. <laughs> yeah. you Humanity, know? so to speak, is in the yeah. hands of the you know, how about you now shine the elect, man? Yeah. We're gonna have to restore humanity. There you go. <laughs> the earth is gonna be given into the hands of the righteous. Right. Man, right. keep reading. It says uh verse twenty five, the last verse in Wisdom of Solomon six and twenty five. Receive therefore instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. Mm. And the mm. whole world, as we know, is going to receive those instructions, like it says in the prophecy in Isaiah 2. Right. You know, the teaching shall go forth out of Zion. Yep. The law shall go forth out of Zion. Right. Through his word, it's, it's going to be through through the, all the other heathen nations, too. Right. They right. don't have to live by the word, too. Right. And it's even when you go into the name Jerusalem, you know, uh, you know Jerusalem, you know, you say the city of peace. Teaching. Teaching. Peace. Yeah, that, that, exactly. I was about to say that. You go into the Hebrew, Yarasha and Salawam. Which is also teaching of peace. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You have the word Yorah, which in the Hebrew is fear, but it's also to teach as well. Because a lot of times we're talking to fear of the Lord. Right. You know? Right. Fear right. the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, that's right. right. And that's why it's going to be a city of peace because of that teaching of peace. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? I got a precept. Isaiah 26 and 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Mm, that's it. That's yeah. it right there. That was Isaiah yeah. 26. Yeah, Isaiah 26 and 9. Yeah, yep, let favor be showed unto the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. And in the land of uprightness, Jerusalem, because that's what Jerusalem was chosen for, for righteousness to go forth from there. Where do you think Adam was? He was in Jerusalem. That's where he started at. The, the, the original temple was the, uh, the promised land. He was to keep and watch over that region 
And from there, the earth was to be made paradise. That's, right. That's what we're going to have under Yahweh Shah. We're going to return to that land and everybody going to have to learn righteousness. That's right. So what, what we're doing is going to lead to that. Right. Right. <laughs> Through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, it's this sacrifice under his sacrifice that's going to save everything. Bring it out. You know, that's why the elect are also called saviors. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Don, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verse 3. And it says, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? Mm. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. And again, that's something that's very scarce in a, in a land that's full of wickedness. Right. Which is Babylon and other various parts of the earth. But as you went into supporting that remnant are the ones that are going to be fulfilling this. Okay? That's that innocence which is going to make the elect be without fault before the throne as you read it in Revelation chapter 14. Right. When you continue, it says, Who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. And it's the point that I wanted right here when I'm about to read in verse 6. We said earlier, one into the apostles, one into the apostles of bars video, Going to how this could be that generation, this could be that people that's ushering righteousness in the earth to that conveying of the new world to come. Right. And even if it ain't, think about this. If it ain't, just like the forefathers before us that mm -hmm. we read about, this is going to be something. It's, that's it's, yeah, right. it's, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. That's right. Because we're leaving behind that legacy. Because eventually it's going to happen. That's right. But this got to be it. Kind of. Like, why would the Lord do it? Wake us all up now. <laughs> Straight up. It's got to be it. Hopefully it's, it's it. it. I believe, I, believe I believe through faith it is. It is. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's going to happen in our time. I believe, I believe this verse 6 applies to us. Yeah. This is verse 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Mm. That was the point that I wanted because he said confirmation that this was that generation that was going to ascend into the head of the Lord and have those clean hands. Mm -hmm. So there's a generation on the earth here that's going to be doing that. It's be justified by faith. That's right, man. That's, that's right. beautiful. Because we don't have clean hands in, in the in the flesh. Yeah, straight up. We're, it's, it's ultimately uh, being covered through that blood of Yahweh Shai. Hopefully yeah. we're that body. Mm -hmm. sure. We don't know, but there is ultimately fore, foretold that there will be a, a remnant. Uh, somebody get Zephaniah 3 and 12. There's going to be a remnant that's going to get it right. And it's like looking at Israel, the water, Yahweh Bashim Shai for that remnant. Because we will be through without the remnant, without the, the Lord having a particular seed amongst our people that he justified. What could we do? Right. Go ahead. It's Zephaniah 3 and 12. It says, I, I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Right. They should trust in the name of the Lord. And that describes David's uh, hardcore following. They were in debt. They were weary. They were tired. They were just afflicted. They were catching hell. Being faithful to David came with a hell of a lot. And they remained faithful. Same thing with us. The tabernacle of David being rebuilt in these times, man. Go ahead. Verse 13. It says, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. Right. But they shall trust in the name of the Lord. They shall trust in the name of Yahweh, man. This got to be it. Mm -hmm. Who's going hardcore for the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai? Making sure that that standard, that jab, because this is a fight. That's the jab that got to stay out there, the names. That's right. right. That's right. Go ahead. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall the deceitful tongue be found in their mouth and no God in Revelation 14. Right? Yep. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that right there is a direct precept to Psalms 23 where he goes into the shepherd's prayer. It says, they shall feed and lie down. He's likening us to being sheep there. There you go. You know, because when you go into the nature of sheep and such, they don't feed nor lie down until they're in a comfortable position. And they won't even feed and lie down if there's, I, I say bickering in this sense, but, you know, they have to get along with each other. Even if there's a quarreling amongst, and this is with sheep, none, the whole flock will be, won't be at ease. Right. And they won't feed and lie down. So that's a very significant part about mm -hmm. that is he's likening us to sheep. So that feed and lie down is going into us being in complete tranquility and comfort. Mm. Amen. Yep, read the next verse. Verse 14, <clears throat> it reads, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken... Sing, the... what are we singing? The We're singing a new song. song. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 15, the Lord hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Mm. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Right, so the Lord is getting ready to work a work. Right. As we go from glory to glory, man, like, 
street preaching and you know going out there and doing what we're doing now is just one aspect of the glory there's another glory coming we ain't gonna be on the highways and loading videos forever the next glory is coming all right but we have to it's all predicated on faith so we can go back to isaiah 51 unless somebody got some yeah god this is back in the book of isaiah chapter 51 verse 3 for yahweh bahashem yahweh shall comfort zion he will comfort all of her waste places he will make her wilderness like Eden. Like Eden. Mm -hmm. See, the earth is going to be turned back into Eden, man. Yeah. You know, through this word. Go ahead. And her desert, like the garden of the Lord. Woo. Eastward in Eden. Eastward in Eden. There you so, go. Yep. Say it. Say now, what you're going to say. Well, you brought up the point earlier going into how that, that was the land that was given unto Adam. And right here is pretty much saying the same thing in a roundabout way. Mm -hmm. You know, in that land, it's going to be like the garden. That's the garden of God, which right. the Lord planted Adam in that lineage. There you go. You know, or, or you know, they got casted away, which mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was supposed to be theirs. Who else is a notable figure that that land was said to belong to? Uh, well, I know Melchizedek. There you go. Okay, cool. King of Salem. King of Salem. Salem is Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. King of peace. That's where peace is going to be issued forth from. That's right. You know, and that's the order we're going to enter in, man. Because remember, Paul let you know he didn't have record of his mother or father. Why? Because he came directly from the heavens. So that's the order we're going to come from. <laughs> you know, in the kingdom. And it's funny that it was at that time that Abraham received a blessing. He popped up. Yeah, around the same time. Around the same time. Mm -hmm. Straight up, straight up. All right, what verse we at? Verse 4. Oh, we continue with verse 3. It says... And her desert like the garden of, of, of the Lord, joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Mm. Hearken unto me, my people. Mm -hmm. Give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me. So how do how, how are our people going to hearken to the Lord, man? Through the prophets. Mm -hmm. They're giving you the message that's going to lead to this. Because people try to, you know, uh, it ain't about man. Well, it's not. It's through Yahweh, all right, through Yahweh shot through the Holy Spirit that's given unto particular men who are going to what? Sing a particular song, which somebody gets Psalms 40 and 3 real quick. As we just read in Zephaniah 3, sing, O daughter of Zion. What are they singing? The Psalms, of, Psalms of the 40 verse 3, it says, and he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in Yahweh Shemel Shah. There you go. So this, that's the process. The, the the new song is given unto those who is given to. No man can learn that song, save the 144. And as they sing it, many will see it. And those of the elect will then trust and fear in Yahweh Shemel Shah. And that mm -hmm. process is happening uh, right now. That's right. Go ahead. I got one. Uh, this is two verses. Uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare... Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, through the messengers, the prophets. Verse 10, it says, Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. So that's talking about the elect, man, singing that new song. Mm -hmm. You know? And you got to be a, a part of that election to be able to understand and to be able to join in the song, you know? Yep, you got to be of the election to get the protection. Yep. Why they sinning, we winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes mm. by the ministry of the prophets. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So that's how you hearken unto the Lord. The most high ain't down here around the corner from McDonald's. Right. Preaching a word unto you. Exactly. <laughs> no, he's gonna he's gonna send men. Yep, that's right. So this is a blessed position. Go ahead, Isaiah fifty-one. This is back in Isaiah chapter fifty-one, verse um, verse four. Continuing on, it says, "For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people." Right, and that's ultimately what it's all about. This earth being guided and ran. Through the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This message is going to lead to that. Go ahead. My righteousness is near. My salvation is gone forth. Mm -hmm. And my arms shall judge the people. My arms shall judge the people. Okay, go ahead. 
It says, the isles shall wait for me upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. On my arm. Now, who's the arm? Let, let's look up the word. Let's, I I'll look it up. I did a lesson on it yesterday. That's why I'm already, I already got it. So, the okay. word arm in the, uh, in the uh, Hebrew is Zahrawai. All right. Forearm, shoulder, arm, arm as symbol of strength, forces. Mm, forces and who's who, who the, the his left. right hand and his holy arm That's right. starts it's Yahweh mm -hmm. and the angels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um forces, political and military, shoulder of animal sacrificed. Right. So the arm of the most high has always been Yahweh and the angels. Mm -hmm. That's how he's gonna save us. That's how he's gonna grab us up out of here. That's likened unto his arm. That's very heavy. It said the shoulder of a lamb or such, or right. you know, a thing sacrificed, because yeah. that was the priestly portion that they would eat. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, that's the best right. part of the lamb. That, that was that the shoulder. They would eat it in the holy of holy. They would eat it in <laughs> the temple. Right there in the temple. Yeah, after they do, yep. Which is part of that part of that sacrifice, which is the Lord's portion. That's it. Yeah, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Damn. The first the portion fruits. is his people, man. Right, 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 right. 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 That's it. That's, that's it. So read that part again in, in, in Isaiah 51 about the arm. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, continuing in verse 4. And I will make my people, and I will make my judgment to rest for a lot of my people. My righteousness is near. My salvation is gone forth. And my arms shall judge the people. My arms shall judge the people. Go ahead. <laughs> and isles shall wait upon me. And on my arm shall they trust. There you go. Yep, right. the, the elect is uh -huh. Shai, man. Because even in Egypt... It was the Most High who got the credit, yeah, yeah. but how did he do that? Same Through his angel. Yeah. He sent Yahweh Shai, right. his holy arm. He's likened unto his right arm the That's whole right. time. Even Genesis 1 and 1, he's presenting his, his uh, uh, government, yeah. 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 His, uh, the Allah yeah. yeah. That's what this whole book is about, man. Yahweh Shai is really, the whole book testifies of him. Go ahead. Con, continuing on in verse uh, 6. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like the smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment. Mm -hmm. And they that weather and shall die in like manner. Mm. But my salvation shall be forever. So people are getting ready to be destroyed, man. Yeah. That's another thing that's coming from this message. We're speaking destruction that's right. All right, into existence, man. And we can see it being formulated. All right? Go ahead. God, it says, in my righteousness... Shall not be abolished. Mm. And Esau's trying to, through his yep. technology, cut off the righteousness of the Lord. That's what he's doing. He's trying to manipulate the genetics of the people. He's trying to make create a whole new species so that the Lord can just be like, well, that ain't what I created, so y'all got it. That's what he's trying to do. Everything we're eating, everything that we're breathing, drinking, is to separate us from the Most High. That's right. But the Lord said his, his righteousness is not going to be abolished. Go ahead. Come, it says, verse 7, hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. And who, man, uh, somebody get second address. Who are the people on the planet Earth in this time calling on the uh, the Lord, man, to come back and establish the law, statutes, commandments? It's not the small hats. Right. It's us. Yeah. You know, second address. Uh... Or in what nation have been thy precepts outside of Israel? Is that six or three? I think that's um, maybe three. Is that six? I know three goes into the history. Yeah, at the very end of three, it could be, or it could be at the okay. very end of six. That's for the, you know. Right. Yeah, it's three. Uh, it got to be three. Let's see here. Second edge is uh, three. And I'll get it. Oh, um, verse 32? Or is there yeah, other yeah, yeah, start there. Yeah, this is, uh, okay, yeah, second episode chapter 3, verse 32. Um, actually, yeah, I can start up. Say again? Yeah, yeah, I'll start at verse 30. Second episode 3 and 30, it says, For I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning, and hast spared wicked doers. Right. Talking yeah. about the other nations. Yep, yep. Uh, it says, And has destroyed thy people, and has preserved thine enemies. Right, the, the the enemy is winning. Moab can eat a crocodile mm. while it's living and, run a and go run a marathon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Yep. Just like like the Lord is allowing the heathen to win it. Mm -hmm. But look at us. But see, we have comfort in understanding that through this word. Mm -hmm. It doesn't drive us crazy now. Because if you didn't have understanding of this, you'd be marching, crying. Like, like what's up? Man. But we got the truth. Go ahead. It says, and has destroyed thy people and has preserved thine enemies and has not signified it. <laughs> Verse 31. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? All right. Are the heathen, are you, you with them? That's why it's important to understand prophecy. Because mm -hmm. Esau is doing all kind of wickedness and he's just winning. Yeah. He's just lying to people, like just rape, robbing, and murdering. He's just like, he's not being judged. Mm -hmm. like, he's just going in. It's like, damn. Habakkuk said, how long, oh Lord? <laughs> That's how you know uh, the laws don't apply to him. You know what I'm saying? But once he took the laws, I mean, once he took the book in his own hands, you know what I'm saying? Now, mm -hmm. that's where he effed up, you know? Yep. He who will now let, will let, let it sure. until he's taken out of the way. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It went to the congregation of Mosai, now we understand their end. Right. 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 Saul right. Yep. Verse 32. It says, Or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Mm. Or what generation hath so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Mm. It says, verse 33. And yet their reward appeareth not. Ain't no heathen for to be arguing over the covenants. That's how you know we Israelites. Right. Even as yeah, Jake right. arguing about the new covenant. Yep. It's just proof they're just rebellious. They're Israelites. They're just rebellious Israelites. But ain't no heathen arguing about the co covenants. Right. Elam. You don't see, is Elam somewhere right. arguing over the covenant yeah. of the Lord? No. Yeah, ain't no heathen telling nobody to repent. Right. Because yeah. the Lord coming. The small hats ain't going into these, nah. these, these the things that we're going right. into. They're just saying we those people and y'all not. But they're yeah. not really going into. Yeah. They'll, they'll tell you they don't believe in the Messiah. Right. Yeah, right. 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 Uh, right. Now, I'll read verse 33 again. Second Ezra's. 3 and 33, and yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. They own 7 Eleven. Yeah, no. They own Eddie, Eddie's liquor store. No. They own everything around you. Billions of dollars in aid, gas station. <laughs> yep. They ain't thinking about the, the Lord coming back. They trying to get their next gas station. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, verse 34. It says, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall, my, shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. <laughs> this is how we know those northern kingdom brothers got to be Israelites. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Ain't no heathen doing it. It's not prophesied that a heathen were going to do this. Absolutely. The heathen that were justified by faith, which are Israelite foreigners, but actual heathen ain't going to be doing this. Go ahead. Come on, verse 35, it says, Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts but not the heathen. Woo! Point blank period. I got one real quick. Yeah. Psalms 53 and 2. The most I look down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any, to see if there were any that did understand that did seek the most I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. The Lord called Abraham, man. Out of that, all, all those, you know, different men that was on earth at that time. Yeah. That line, you know, yep. that, that chose to seek, man. Yep, and he, he chose Abraham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. All right. Isaiah. This is back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 7. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men. Right, because Neither it's getting ready to come. It's getting ready to come. The reproach of men is coming, and we know this is coming. So we got to believe on a whole nother level what was coming down the pipe. You can't believe like you believed in 2012. You got to believe on a whole nother level yeah. what was coming down the pipe. You got to be a fool for Hamashiach's sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's coming. I got yeah. one. Yep. Uh, this is uh, 1 Maccabees 2 and 50. 
Shout out to my man, you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's one of our favorites. Yeah. First Maccabees two and fifty. It says, "Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers." You know, because that's how com compelled we are for this thing of ours, man. Yeah. You know, we're willing to put our lives on the line and be martyrs for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, because we're faithful witnesses, man. Mm. You know. And when you truly believe in the Lord, right? Right. You understand that death isn't final. So it's not like a real threat to you because you're like, okay, right, right. That's that's it. You understand? You know we're like, gonna come back. You know we're gonna come back. That's right. You know, a, a part of Yahweh Shai's walk was to be crucified and resurrected. Yeah. If we come in the same stead, it's, same stead. it's a strong possibility for you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? For us, even though the Lord says some of us may not taste, but He didn't say all of us. Everybody that believed on Him, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to show it. Yep. Right. You know, all and the like apostles. Yeah. And, and 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 that's the thing, knowing. The scriptures is where your comfort come from. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. I seen a video the other day. This guy, we he heard sheep, and they drew like a with chalk, an uh, illusion, like a hallways on the sidewalk. I saw that. Sheep yep. were coming yep. up, and they saw it. Now, even though it's not real, they got confused, and all the sheep veered off the path. Yep. Now, the elect, we're not going to veer off the path because we know it's not real. Solid These threats that Esau is Solid put in front of our faces is not real. Right. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can have that faith and walk through the illusion. Is if you understand the prophecy and you truly have that faith. Yeah. Right. If you're a fool, but it, or the yeah. Masha, I say, yeah, the apostles yeah. took those deaths because they knew they was gonna come back, man. Correct. Right. You know. Yeah, that path, that that, that picture that was drawn on that See, illustration it? was like a it's likened to as we would know a device of Satan. Yeah. The elect won't be deceived by Satan's devices like regular sheep will veer off a path due to yeah. an illusion. Yeah. You know, these sheep right here are gonna know the game plan. Yeah. They gonna trust in the shepherd. Because mm -hmm. in understanding, there's no way to lose. Yeah. It's a win-win whether you be a martyr or whether you right. don't take death. There's no way to to, to it's, it's a win-win. We can't follow lose that, right. if we follow it through. That's what I'm saying. Even those who die, really, you didn't taste of death. You right. Yeah. Up. yeah. You didn't. You good. You gonna raise first, man. You raise for the good. That's right. That's right. You live unto the Lord. That's hey, right. If I miss a lock, it, uh, it also says, "Strive for the truth unto death." Then the Lord shall fight for thee. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be put in those uncomfortable situations, even to the point where you're facing death. And that's when your faith is on the line. That's when the Lord is going to lift that standard. Mm. You know, when, when the true threats come on that way. But if you strive unto death, knowing it's a possibility, that's when the Lord is going to reveal himself and show his face. Mm. Then he shall fight for you. Mm. See, when you look up that word fools, and, uh, it comes to mysterion, right? It oh, says wow. general mysteries, religious secrets, confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. That's I'd be a fool all day for Hamashiach's sake. Well, that's what's going to you know? make you a fool that you know those things right. and you're out proclaiming it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's going to make you even more foolish uh, to tell people a big, gigantic, what they think is a UFO mm -hmm. is coming from the that's sky. Right. Sure. That's a mystery yeah. that yep. we ha have understanding of that we're boldly, but that's going to make you foolish. Oh, yeah. Part of those secrets that you know, the Lord revealed to the prophets. Right. right. You know, a lot of people are not going to get it because they don't understand it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, didn't that definition just say not to ordinary mortals mm -hmm. from the foundations of the world, baby? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You know? right. That's right. right. This is back in uh, Isaiah 51, continuing you on. You done with verse... our first Maccabees? Oh, uh, I just want to hit that one okay. point. Okay. I got a little bit more on here. Okay. Another, yeah. sub, another uh, port. It says, uh, of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern, uh, which govern God in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Plain. And that the carnal man receiving not the things of the most high, but the spiritual man. Yep. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Plain. Write the vision. Make it plain upon tables. People may run, run that reader through. Mm -hmm. Make it plain to the godly. Yep. That's it. Right. Did you back in Isaiah 51? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is back in Isaiah 51, continuing in verse 7. Fear not the reproach of men. Neither be afraid of their revelings. Right, their insults, because it's coming. And we, the Lord has already prepared us for it. Mm -hmm. you know, what, what, what worse can you be called than a rapist or right. a pedo? Like, I mean, yeah. okay. The Lord turned his back on us. Mm -hmm. right. what, how much more can we be out there? Mm -hmm. I, I would rather much, much rather get back in the graces of the Lord than... Right. The two thirds. Absolutely. Right. You know? well, what do we have to be ashamed of? We look at the curses. Read that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. These people can't do like the Lord did unto us already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like we just, and then now we've already seen how unreasonable and wicked and demonic and 
ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? These people are. So it's like, who gives a damn that a person who eats catfish and lobster and is a, a sodomite has to say about you? Right, right. Mm-hmm. Prophets that won't prophesy. I take it, whatever. You know, yeah. But what if some yeah. shall not believe? Weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> Big grown man creating different profiles to scoff. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, does it really matter what they it's say? It's not going to change the outcome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that's what we was mentioning uh, the other day at camp. We're not in this to protect or build a reputation. Right. Right. We don't care about what people think about us. Right. Our concern is the mission. And that's what you basically right. summarize. Right. Right. These yeah. people's thoughts or opinions about you don't change the path of the mission. Right. Bring it out. Asaph had comfort when you read Psalm 73, when you said, when I went into the tabernacle and I could let the Lord, right. then I understood the end. Mm-hmm. Right. Because now we're comforted. Because right. we already know the outcome, regardless right. of how it play out, how things may seem, people coming up against us, they right. don't believe. Mm-hmm. We already know. We do. We believe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have our forefathers to right. look to. You know, like Noah, we, he was scoffed. Right. When you put all of the precepts Man. together, they were scoffing him. I mean, we have to go through the same thing. Mm-hmm. But the, what happened after they, they scoff? Yeah. They, they drown. They drown. They start raining. But you just got to have faith. See, uh, the being long suffering and not, you know, creating your own vengeance and laughing and having comfort in all of the hell you catch is knowing the end result. Right. These people are going to, but that takes faith. Yep. The part of faith, right, is not spoken on a lot is the be patient. Yeah, to be long suffering and understanding what the will of the Lord is and not overreacting, knowing the Lord gonna get these niggas anyway. Yeah. Instead of you know destroying your whole life crying for vengeance on somebody, you just like leave it. the Lord gonna get to get your ass. Noah probably was crying to the Lord, certain things that's not written up. He yeah. probably went through it only makes oh certain things out, yeah. you know. We are anxiety, yeah. like yeah. he went through all types of roller coasters of emotions and thoughts. Yeah. Praying to the Lord constantly, like you know, to, to keep the, to finish his yeah. course, you know. Been twenty years too. Shit, yeah, he's coming up against him, man. Probably trying to hinder him building. Yeah, mm-hmm. set his wood on fire. Yeah, dog, kind of wicked shit, bro. Imagine all that stuff. Yeah. All yeah. that, bro. Right. Yeah. Go for two yeah. more it's safe to assume that. <laughs> I do got a precept. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nah, come. Just um, you know, going into the revelings that we got to endure all the BS. It's a sacrifice at the end of the day. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 16. And I'm going to read the 17. And it says, Holding forth the word of life, which is Yahweh Shai, that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. So he understood the big picture, the revelings, everything that came with it was a sacrifice. And just as he said, he had to endure, which is the Apostle Paul. We all got to do the same thing, which is get part of the revelings and the slander that we would see daily from these niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. Yep. Barabbas free us. Yeah. Right. Free yeah, Barabbas. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Free, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 young Thug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If yeah. it yeah. came Man. between us and him, they going to yeah, go. Free right. Right. Yeah. 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 Free Thug. The nigga That's came on Apostle Aramla. Comment board was just like, yeah, we know y'all GMS niggas beat up somebody and beat them to death. Yeah, what's so up they, it was just lying. Boy, so I'm just like, so what these niggas are getting ready to do is just be unreasonable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same way they were with Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's right. They brought all kind of different accusations, just lying. They took turns lying literally on Yahweh Shah. They lined up. They lined up to lie. Like these niggas are back. Second Timothy. To the point to where anybody with a sense realized, like, hold up, these niggas. They crazy. They too. Yeah. The elect gonna see that, but yeah, they're gonna be like, yeah. ain't no way right. we would know. Yeah, <laughs> they were being so unreasonable. Your house, I just got quiet. Yeah, he asked them, he, he said, Do you say you did something because he knew in his mind that he ain't do nothing. He was like, Bro, I'm trying to give you out right now, but nah, man, these niggas gonna be niggas. Hey, that's why the scriptures called the elect, um, loosely paraphrased, and it says, Deceivers, but yet true. And the eyes of the unwise and unrighteousness were locking unto deceivers. This, that, and the third, but in the eyes of the wise, it's a true saying that they're talking about, yeah. which is his testimony, mm-hmm. you know? That's right. Uh, Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Mm. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But be, be, be a coward. Go out there and be a coward. You need to be a Oh, boy. Exactly. Hell, say whatever, man. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. And they will scourge you in their synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. See, it's your fault. If you were not doing it, always talking all that, all that end time stuff, we'll be chilling. They gonna blame it on us. 
Yeah, right. Right. We were telling everybody they could have fun. We were telling everybody that, you know what I mean? Watch. It's going to get ugly. It's yeah. going to get ugly. Yeah, a bunch of wolves. So they going to do that, lie, all, make up all type of shit like you said. Mm -hmm. You got some, huh? I got some. All right, then let's get back to Isaiah 51 after this. Okay. Go ahead. This, this Acts chapter 5, verse 38, it says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Mm. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. Hmm. So what, that's what these niggas finna do. Because when they see that it ain't stopped, we've been preaching all these years and years and all this stuff coming to pass, they gonna know it, it's of the Lord. And then they gonna know that the Lord about to destroy their ass everything they done did to them. That's right. That's right. Hmm. Yep. It's another side to rebellion. But we have the ability to understand that they must be here. You know? Yeah. There were particular people just born in vanity just to be assholes and demons. Yeah. Yep. And we also understand some of those, these wicked niggas are going to repent too. Mm -hmm. yep. So we, our job, we, we ain't got no choice but to just do what's right. Absolutely. You know? And your, how, following Yahweh Shai is the easiest way to accomplish that. It alleviates all of the folly that comes in your mind. Just apply him, you know. Go ahead. This is back in the book of Isaiah chapter 51. Uh, verse 8, it says, For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Right. These people are getting ready to lose. We're getting ready to win. Like, again, while they're sinning, we winning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 9, Awake, awake, put on strength. Oh, arm of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. See? <laughs> awake, awake, put on thy strength, O oh, arm of Yahweh. There we go, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, we just looked up the meaning of arm. Yeah. Okay? Which, I mean, what did, what did Yahweh Shai say? You shall see uh, me on the right hand of power. Let's get that. Matthew 26 and 64, I believe. Somebody get it real quick. Matthew 26. Because he said it himself. Matthew 26, 24? 60, 64. 64. All right. It says, Yahweh shall say it unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall you see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power. Right hand of power. See that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. And coming in clouds of heaven. Right. And that's his forces. <laughs> now the word right hand in the Greek is dexios. All right, metaphorically, a place of honor and authority. That's Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's the arm of the Most High. And his presence is all throughout this book, if you have a spiritual eye. It, it said, awake, put on thy strength, O arm of the Lord. That's our cry. Mm -hmm. All right, like uh, this particular psalm, I'll get it real quick. This is Psalms 74 and 11. Why withdrawest thou thy right hand? Hold up. He says, um, Why withdrawest thou thy hand, even thy right hand? Pluck it out of thy bosom. <laughs> like, bring him. Bring your heart with God. That's the, that's the cry. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read it in the NLT. Psalm 74 and 11. Why do you hold back your strong right hand? Unleash your power for fist and destroy them. See, unleash your power. See, the Most High has a right hand that is more powerful than Deontay Wilder, Mike Tyson. Uh, uh, some, somebody get Psalms 98 and 1. <laughs> the whole book is speaking about Yahweh Shai. Even in Deuteronomy 33, it said, from thy right hand went the law. Right. It was that angel mm -hmm. that was hovering over the mountain. Yep. Yahweh Shai, was, that was Yahweh Shai. Yep. The whole time. But who, who got the glory? The Most High God, Yahweh. Psalms 98 and 1. Psalm chapter 98, verse 1. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he had done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. I say the king ain't got the work. He, yeah. sent, out, he sent out his right hand. He sent out his right hand. Yeah. And that's how we're going to be gathered up. That's how we're going to be saved, man. That's right. So that's the arm of the Most High, man. Somebody, you got something? No. Yeah, if I can say this, those that have kids, if you ever seen the movie, uh, it's a John, uh, the movie where they got the beat of my ghost to Mars. John's, you know that name, that movie? The beat of my ghost to Mars. 
Uh, Alf? <laughs> <laughs> Alf is the show. Nah, that wasn't Mars. It didn't go to Mars. It came out years ago? Yeah, it came out years ago. I don't remember. I think I know what you're talking about. I was young when it came out. Mars, yeah. Even by he goes to Mars and he develops a lot of strength, but there's aliens there and there was no war. John Carter? John Carter. Yeah, John Carter of Mars. And actually, the alien that was ahead of that tribe, he called John Carter his right hand. Oh, shit. But John Carter was actually used to win the war because he had the power. But he actually called his fist my right hand. Right, secretaries. In the ancient world, secretaries wasn't just these debased little women you see here. Secretaries were like the most important part of a kingdom. Secretary of defense. Game of Thrones. All the kings, they had their, their right, right hand. He had a pen that he was called the hand. Yes, he was called mm-hmm. the hand. So, and, and they did most of like the heavy lifting for the king. All, right. the, little, the, plan, they, all the little secret plans. Right. Was trying to, the hand knew about those things. Yep. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, you couldn't have direct access to the king. You had to go to yeah, the, the hand. Because the, the, the hand means power five. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's right. Yeah. This is Psalm 17. I'll start at verse 6. It says, I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me. O oh, Yahweh, decline thy ear unto me and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O oh, thou that savest by thy right hand. And savest by thy right hand. That's how he saved. Yes, he's the savior, but how does he do it? With his right hand. And Torah only people, all of the, everything we're reading is in, this, we didn't just put this in there. Right, right. It's all there and they don't have, they don't believe the report. <laughs> how should I even say it? The only way you're going to get to the father is by me. By me. You can't just go to the king. Yeah, you got to go to the hand. Even before <laughs> the New Testament, right? In Egypt, what did he say? I send my angel. This is who you should listen to. Mm-hmm. This is the one that's going to bring you into the Hivites and, the, and get to the Holy Land through him. That's how we won those wars. Right. That's how we got out of Egypt. Remember, right remember, that too. remember when Moses had his staff? He was getting old. He couldn't play. Uh, he had to hold his hands. Hold his hands. Yeah. Yep. Spiritual. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But then it goes to what you said back into faith. Because this is a report that's being reported on the planet. So in order for you to believe the report, that's where your faith lies. You have to believe it. Yeah. Right. You speak it all day, but you got to believe it. Mm-hmm. That's why it says we have to believe our report to whom his arm of the Lord revealed. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's uh, 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 Isaiah 53. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got to believe on the report that's been reported unto you. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and that's reinforced in First John chapter 5. Yeah. When the Most High gave his, his testimony right. of Yahweh shot through John. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. right. God, Psalm 17 and 7. Show thou marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saved us by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee from those that raise up against them. Mm. Woo! And there's so many scriptures. Somebody else has some? This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, verse 9. Awake, awake. Put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days. Mm. In the generations of old, are there are thou not in it's like, I'm gonna read that part again. Art thou not it that had cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? And who's that talking about? Egypt. About Egypt. Right? Because when you read it in the uh NLT it says, uh, rouse yourself up as in the days of old when you slew Egypt, the dragon of the now. I believe Psalms eighty nine goes into right it. Here. Yep, yep, yep. If it's you know No, hit it, hit it. This is Psalms eighty nine and ten. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces. As one that is slain, thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. Yep, and again, that's that going right there into, you know, right there into that, uh, the dragon. You mm-hmm. know, and it's ironic. Uh, I did a class on this a few weeks ago, and um, mm-hmm. the elder brother Micah Allah made a beautiful point. Rahab was also known as being a harlot mm-hmm. that was delivered, you know, in the time we, when we went into the land of Jericho. Ironically, it's the same name of a harlot, you know. Mm-hmm. It's Egypt, Babylon, Egypt. today, you, you know, the great harlot, the great whore. You know, so the yeah. Lord is going to be destroyed. The heart, right? Know? It's speaking to His Son. Thou, yeah. thou did this. You did this by your strong arm. And then when you go into the actual story, it was His angel. Mm-hmm. And, and and it's it's probably stories that we don't even have written of deliverance. You know what proves that? Somebody get um Genesis Genesis thirty Genesis forty eight and sixteen. Wow, the first page. Genesis 48 and 16. All right, it reads. Start at 15. Verse 15, it reads. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life long until this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, 
Bless the lads. The angel which redeemed me from all evil. This is the time of. <laughs> so what did he? What did he? What did he, what did he go through? I mean, we know Jacob's whole story is written, but it's probably stuff written Absolutely. certain yes. situations that you know what I'm saying we don't even know about. Yeah. His or, story is ridiculously abridged in the Bible. Oh my goodness! Yeah. He was. I mean, he was all over the place. Yep. <laughs> and let my name be named on them, in the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. So as he's blessing Ephraim and Manasseh, he's mentioned the angel which redeemed me from all evil. And it's a capital A. Yeah, right. Exactly. And that word uh, angel is um, Malak or Malak. Messenger, representative, messenger, angel, theophanic angel. Priest, king. Priest, king. I got a real quick one. Like what Bond just brought up, Moses needing his hand raised. Mm -hmm. Don't you know it was Judah and Levi who that, was, yeah. that helped them hold oh, his arm? Oh, another was a Levi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe name. one of them, I believe so, Judah and Levi, well, which is basically, because Ur, was, I believe his name was Ur or something like that. He, he was Judah and a, another one was Levi. Aaron was the second one. Right, yeah. Aaron. There you go. The king and priest. Gotcha. See, I was yeah, shy. Everything I points to you. I was shy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. This is uh, this is John twenty one and twenty five. It says, and there are also many other things which Yahweh did, the which if they should be written, every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So it's so much that we don't even have. You know what I'm saying? Right. We but we got enough mm -hmm. within this within the volume of the book. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. And Jacob understood that it was the it was an angel. That the Most High was using to guide him, you know. Yeah, I wish I had David again. There you go. Same age he wrestled. Yeah, yeah. Where we at? I got something with about how wish I be in the arm. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah chapter nine, read the NLT verses six and seven. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, mm. and he will be called a Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and his peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. Mm. The passionate commitment of the Lord Yahweh of armies will make this happen. Mm. Yep, when you look up that word Lord of hosts, okay, that word hosts. Tazabah, right? Tazabah, there you go. Um, it means. Uh, that which goes forth, army, war, warfare, host, organized army, host of angels. Mm -hmm. So it's all here in the Bible. But not everybody believes the report. The <laughs> warfare. <laughs> and Isaiah 9, I mean, Revelation 19 goes into that. How it's going to be, he go, in righteousness, he's going to make war and the different angels will be following him. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah 51. This is back in Isaiah 51 and 10. Art thou not in that shalaka? Art thou not it which dried the sea, mm. the waters of the great deep, that have made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Who did that? The angel of the Lord mm -hmm. in Egypt. That's right. right. Uh, uh, Exodus 14 goes into the whole thing. All right. Before that great work was worked, um, somebody get Exodus 14. Let me just read one scripture out of that. Um, I can get it. I'm going to start that. Uh, let's see here. In the angel of the Lord. Let's see here. It's somewhere in there. Hold up. I'm going to get a precept while you look. Yep, go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 74, verse, two, verse 19, 12. 8, 14 and 19. For the huh? most high is my king of old. Where you at? Psalm 74 and 12. Okay. Working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength, which is which alluded to right there. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters, which is another synonymous for Egypt. Wahab or Egypt. It says, Thou breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave with him to be meat for the people inhabiting the wilderness. But the point was going into how he divided the sea, which is that salvation, you know, that deliverance from Egypt, namely the Gulf of Suez of the Red Sea. Because mm -hmm. people always just. Uh, Yah only. It was Yah that did it. Well, I mean, according <laughs> to the story, yeah, it was him, but how did he do it? Mm -hmm. Exodus 14 and 19. 
Khan. This is Exodus 14 and 19. And the angel of the Most High, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. Mm -hmm. And it became between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by light to these. See? That was the angel that did all of that. Mm -hmm. And you keep reading, the Israelites went on dry ground. Pharaoh eventually was drowned in his, his army, which the modern day Pharaoh, the modern day dragon is Esau. That's right. He's getting ready to be drowned in fire. That's right. Okay? So mm -hmm. let's go back to Isaiah 51. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, verse, uh, verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. That's the new Passover. Mm -hmm. The new Passover when we're, uh, you know, redeemed out of the hands of Esau, Edom. Uh, Revelation 15. Yep. In one. This is Revelation chapter 15, verse 1. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. Right. Go ahead. Verse 3 says, And they sing the song of Moses, <laughs> the servant of the Most High. Right. And the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, our power almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Right. So uh, they sung the song of Moses, which will go to Exodus, the 15th chapter. We just read Exodus 14. About how the angel went before the Israelites, right? So let's get Exodus 15 and 1. They sung the song of Moses. So we're going to be singing a, the song of Moses all over again mm -hmm. in the chariot. But this time, it's Esau. Go ahead. Exodus 15 and 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Right. Who's the modern day horse and his rider? Esau. 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 Right. So the same fashion we were delivered out of ancient Egypt, the Lord is going to do it again. Isaiah 19. Is that in second Ezra? like three or something, two? Uh, or which one? Yeah, like we're talking about the Pharaoh drowned. Probably so. Yeah. I think three. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 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 You want to continue on? Yeah, read verse two. Exodus 15 and 2, it says, The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Mm -hmm. He is my power. Right, so you can't leave out the presence of that angel. Right. You can't leave out his holy arm. And that's what niggas try to do. And now the, the servants, the prophets have been raised up, and you ain't got nowhere to go. You notice the Torah only, they're kind of silent now. I believe this uh, brother, what's his name? Uh, Judah Nadazura? I forgot about him. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. I think he, I mean, the way he be talking on the comment board, I think he believes in Yahweh now. Mm. I don't know for sure. He can, you know, if you watch it, because he watch all the videos. Yeah. You know. He's an yeah, he used to scoff, you know. Years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those dude, Jake's. Um, uh, what's this dude? Zion Lex. There was a point where he was like, man, the more I try to yeah. disprove yeah. the, the Yahweh Shai, man, he's, he's there. He's Old Testament on here. So, where they didn't got no, because all they do is sit up and talk about Yahweh Shai being fake. They don't prophesy. They don't right. preach. Mm -hmm. But what, what are you going to do with all this information we're bringing out? They can't deal with it. You can't deal with this. That's a big scar. See? They thinking we just, Jesus Christ. Nah, we dealing with the volume of the book. We ain't even, we, how many scriptures have we brought out in the New Testament outside of a few? Yeah, right. And we have already proved that there is a son of the Most High. We've proved that he does have representatives. You know, his holy arm, the, the Lord of hosts, all of them, all of these things we're bringing out. You got something? Quick one. Yep. I'm just going to tell you how the was always there. This is the book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 56. And it says, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad, mm. which is very spiritual because that's going into, you know, Isaac for real, for real. Because right. he rejoiced. Yep. And they laughed when Isaac was born. 
you know, also too Melchizedek, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and also the angel he communed with when Sodom and Gomorrah was going to be burned by fire. Yeah. You know, yeah. So he says before Abraham, I was even already there. I present. was already there. It says in verse 57. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, before Abraham was, I am. Mm. Then they took up stones to cast at him, but Yahweh hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, right. and passed by. Because that was the angel who Moses was communing with. Right. <laughs> that was the word of the Most High. Mm-hmm. You can't understand the yep. Old Testament without believing in Yahweh Shai, man. Right. right. It just ain't going to make sense, it's man. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, Micah, I'll get it. One of my favorites. Micah 5 and 2. I'll read it in the uh, NLT. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephratah, the land where Solomon, you know, David, Yahweh Shai were born. Fruitful land. Yep. yep. That's the land that was associated with Esther. Or Ruth, I mean, Ruth. Oh uh, yeah, Boaz. That was that. That was that land yep, that yep. he redeemed back with Ruth. It says, "But you, O Bethlehem, Ephratah, are only a small village among all the people of Judah. Yet a ruler will come f- from you, whose origins are from the distant past. Mm. Oh, his wow. origins, his origin is from the distant He's past. Distant past. <laughs> <He's in> his <laughs> origins." <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Micah 5 and 2 But I read it in the NLT yeah, that's it. Origins. yeah That's a heavy break Yeah that's a heavy version right Yes So that is letting you know he He's uh You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. He's from way back yeah. In the beginning Was the word You know what I'm saying What's it, uh, uh, with, uh, Proverbs What's that Proverbs 31 uh, I was daily his delight mm. oh, Proverbs 8 yeah, There we go 8 and 31 That's yeah. what it is There yeah. we go the one from back then, the same message is an extension from back then. The same message. Mm-hmm. So the prophets had to be with him too. Mm-hmm. Right. I got that word. First fruits. The light had extended it always from me from that time to this time now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a strong light. That's your house shot. Hey, when you read it in Revelation 14, it mentions that angel, which this angel is not your house shy, but it mentions the angel having the everlasting gospel preaching to them that inhabit the earth. And when you go into that word everlasting, it literally goes into before there was time and even after. Mm. It goes in continually, so that mm. that everlasting gospel predates even time within itself. He's the source of that, though. That's right. It is. I mean, it's 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 him, but the angels pretty much work through the elect to carry out mm-hmm. that message of the new song being sung. That's Woo. right. Somebody, yeah, that I got Revelation six. Okay. Nah, we don't need that no more. Right. We're good. And we're O, or we said origin in the NLT. Mm-hmm. It's Quadam in the Hebrew. It says East Antiquity. Antiquity. Quadam. Mm-hmm. Front that which is before a four time. Mm-hmm. You know, it says before a four time. beginning and then it says east. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's heavy. Mm. The ancient way. The ancient way. The ancient yep. way. Hebrew. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Like, oh, from the past. Well, no, I, well, I was that. I was saying Hebrew, like, in the sense of the way it's written from right to left, which east is right. Right. Mm. Like, English is backwards. Yep. Like, we write it from left to right. But really, you're supposed the to start beginning is east. On the beginning. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. Damn. That's how it shot. It's beautiful. It all points to him. Hey, John, the first chapter, in the beginning, was the word. Yep. He was always <laughs> right. the first spirit created. Yep. Isaiah 51. Close the book. <laughs> yeah, we already an hour and some man. We'll get, you know, get as far as we can. Yep. Back in Isaiah 51. Yep. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, continuing in verse uh, 11. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. The new covenant, baby. That's right. I, even I, and he that comforted thee, who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? Man. No one, just, knowing what we know, like, to hell with Esau, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And it says, And the Son of Man, which shall be made as grass, and forgettest Yahweh Bahashib Yahweh thy maker, that had stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, mm. and has feared continually, every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy it. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Right. The Lord, the Lord is like, nigga, do you realize what I'm getting ready to do to them? Yeah, sure and you right. sitting up here worried, a faint heart behind Esau and his NWO? Man, to hell with this guy. Mm-hmm. He's a clown. Uh, Yahweh Shai and um, somebody get 2nd Edges 13 and 38 real quick. Just read it real quick. He's going to destroy you, you devils, man. Second <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, like, 
all of this stuff you see Esau boasting in, if you, don't be afraid, man. He ain't going to win. The Lord didn't create Esau to win. Right. Like, look at him. Like, he ain't going to win, bro. Right. I said, look how many times the Lord done moved the finish line so we can win. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> uh. You know, in a video game as a kid, you might lose and you just kind of start it over or you just change the slide. Yep. <laughs> That's what the Lord do for us. We, we good. Right. You know? It's 37. Second edge is 1337. Yeah. It's second edge of chapter 13, verse 37. It says, And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations, mm. which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest. That's it. The chip, all that's going to be, the Lord is for to destroy this devil, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. God. It says back in the second, I'm sorry, I'm not second, that's right. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose, mm. and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fall. Mm. It says, but I am Yahweh thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. Right, and that's, you know, part of that blood was to receive the Holy Spirit, but it's also for us to be ransomed out of captivity. So we're hastening for that day, praying and hoping we're of that number, man. You know? God. Death will not be our fate, you know? And it's written. Even those of us who have to get beheaded, you don't really die. Right, 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 yeah. But we do have to go through that, that straight gate until that moment. Mm -hmm. and I don't believe we'll even feel it. Like mm -hmm. Stephen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead. God, God. Now, I got a quick precept yep. real quick. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Mm -hmm. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. <laughs> You got people that are going to raise up, what you're saying. Yeah. Some to raise up for deliverance and some raise up just to get, finished just to off. get judged. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, where am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're going to know exactly why. Yeah. 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 You're going to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Corinthians, uh, you talking about 7 Corinthians 5 and 10? The word speaking to the song for death and song for life. Oh, okay. God. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yep. Yeah. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, verse. Uh, 14, it says, nor that his bread should fail, which was the end of 14. It says, but I am Yahweh thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the hosts is his name. <laughs> See, it keeps giving, he, he always is, is telling you about his son the whole time. It's, it's all testifying of Yahweh Shai because we just read how that happened. Yep. In the, you know, so you Yah only are so through. You're blinded like yep. with a serious, it's, it's kind of Sad that you're this blinded. Right. Like we're sitting here reading this, yeah. but Jake doesn't have the ability to see that it's right there. Mm -hmm. the yep. But we get it. No, it's not sad. We get it, you know. But damn. Mm -hmm. Right. What great understanding you're missing out on if you're denying your Howard Shai, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 16. But I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand. Right, he's What's put his hand? words in our mouth. God. Like he, like he, Moses said, I will speak through you. I will be thy mouth. Oh, man, and, and cover thee in the shadow of mine hand. Hand is a cover. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says, and I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Mm. Thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. It ain't nothing else left to drink. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't nothing else left. It, 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 it's, it's the, our captivity is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Right. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Our, yep. our iniquity is over, bro. This, yeah, is, this is it. Yep. You know, I mean, we got more to go as far as this straight gate, but what else is there, you know? This is it. We drunk it, man. And we deserved it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking at Jake, how they act now, I get it. I get everything that's happened to us. It's yeah, making more sense. Us too. Hell yeah. Yeah, I would drowned us too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Verse 10. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. Verse 18, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was verse 18. Yes, sir. Verse 18. Right, because no man will save you. Mm -hmm. No man will redeem. When you look at that word, uh, no man shall buy you, mm -hmm. it means to redeem. Mm -hmm. 
the, the, the only one who's going to re can redeem us back to the Father is through Yahweh Shai. As a matter of fact, somebody get Isaiah 59 real quick. And uh, who he who departed from wickedness making himself a prey. You get that? It is Isaiah 15. 59, and um, I'll start at 15. Yep. It says, Yea, yeah, yeah, the truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Mm -hmm. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Like, so how will we get back? Like nothing from this world is gonna get us back. I mean, we're preaching and doing, but really, the the redeeming process has got to come through Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness is sustained him. Right. There you go. Like it says in one of the scriptures, the Lord have made bare his salvation, his holy arm, in a in a in a sight of the nations. So it's coming. Let's go back. This is back in Isaiah chapter 51, verse 19. And it says, These two things are come unto thee, who shall be worried for thee? Desolation and destruction and famine and the sword, by whom shall I comfort thee? Man, this, now, is, this is the only word that our people should be looking for. After all that's happened unto us, Jake hearing this and don't comfort him. God damn, what more does Jake want? Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of the streets as a wild bull in a net. Right, you have nothing. Your sons are complete sodomites and demons. Your daughters are complete whores and losers. and it's, it, Like, you have nothing else to look forward to here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this, that were afflicted and drunk it, but not with wine. And that's Jake's issue. They're, they are drunkards. Right. But the wine that they're drunk off of is the philosophies of this world. Mm -hmm. All right. Hear this. This is what the Lord wants you to hear. Go ahead. It says, verse 22, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Because it says, thus saith the Lord, the Lord right there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just for the reader that says that, it's, it's capital. Thus saith thy Lord, which that will be, you know, Adawan or Adanya. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. Mm -hmm. Behold. This I is the only message that's truly pleading our people's cause. Mm -hmm. that's right. No other really philosophy. Everything else got y'all marching, downplaying your true losing. power, losing. This is the only gospel that emboldens you and gives you an identity, a, a way to walk. That's right. Like, other things got you walking in circles 40 yeah. years. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. They build, I would say they building up cowards. Man. Mm -hmm. Something to look forward to. Vision. But yeah. the Lord blood was bleeding called the Jake. He died with the blood. Right. Yeah, that black culture yeah. shit didn't do nothing but lead to destruction. I mean, black culture got this monkey in the office right now. Yeah. Black culture yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Black culture has that up. nigga said if you ain't you ain't if you don't vote for me, you yeah. ain't black. That's right. That nigga's lying the fuck up. Straight up. <laughs> I gotta be black. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to correct myself, because yeah. it's really the electoral college, just for myself. Right? Yeah, yeah, but that does it. But yeah. Jake was adamant. Still. Yeah, they energy. You know? Yeah, they yeah. was into it. Yeah. Yeah. Joe yeah. Biden save us. Yeah, yeah. nigga yeah. one. They love to have his own. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, straight up. Go ahead. This is back in Isaiah chapter um, fifty-one, verse. Uh, dang, I'm just reading. 22. Thinking, verse twenty-two. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, Yah the Lord Yahweh. And thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Right. Preach out. The water y'all got to be a shot. Man, the water y'all got to be a shot. You got to oh, yeah. Lamentations 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Here's the point, verse 22. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So basically that cup is being taken away from us, man. It's put, it's put on our enemies. Mm -hmm. yep. right this proves the final captivity is through Esau. Yeah, too. Yep, that, yep, yep. Because in that chapter, he's crying and mourning, looking at Jake, you know, and family, you know, dying and being destroyed by the Babylonians. And who helped? Esau. 
So he looked at him. He saw Esau. He was like, nigga, you, you, you rejoice and be glad. Right. And he prophesied of the fact that we're going to be in captivity to them. And it, our captivity ends through Esau, which is tied to Babylon, the yep. final rulership of the beast, of the heathen, you know? Right. The final boss on the game. That's yep. it. Yep. 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 King Cooper. King Cooper. <laughs> King Trooper. <laughs> yep. Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to just read this from the link. So, listeners, you know. This Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. There you go. Ooh. Thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. Deuteronomy 33. E e Esau's done. Yep. This ain't a good time to be an Edomite. That's, that's right. Yep. They don't want to be classified as white people really at all. Yep. Yeah, they they trying to run around. They're trying to get away from it. They're trying to say, yeah, I'm, my, my people are from Sweden. Right, 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 right. Go right. away. Yeah. Niggas be Cherokee. Oh, that, Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, it's always Cherokee. It's, it's always Cherokee. It's always Cherokee. They don't know no other tribe. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to somebody before at work. They were like, part of me. I'm like, what are you, Cherokee? Right. He was like, so what yeah. about Mika? Mika <laughs> Shuki? <laughs> one one yeah. eight. Yeah. 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 What about Mikasuki? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. For real though. Apache, give me something. Go ahead. Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. Mm. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, Ooh. a reproach, a waste, and a curse. Mm. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So that most high that sworn himself that he's going to hold Esau out. Through. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, <laughs> and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather you together and come against her, mm. and rise up to the battle. And who is that also, who's that also going to happen to? Babylon the Great. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. At least Esau is a Babylon the Great. That's that right. is the end time uh, prophecy. That's right. right. That's right. right. Nuclear destruction, mm -hmm. the third world war. So that, that, like Ella said, that proves that Esau is going to be the last captivity. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Beautiful. Let's finish off the last verse in Isaiah 51. Done. And then we'll go through the whole book of Genesis 1. <laughs> God damn, bro. This is the last final can, chapter. Can, is, can we have some fun? <laughs> <laughs> what about fun? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Isaiah 51 and 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, mm -hmm. which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. Thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them, they went over. That's graphic, right? If you think about it, he steamrolled us pretty much. Oh, yeah. You know, shit. We were literally like, you know, their footstool. Yeah, they something. put they they was resting their feet on our children. Yeah, they they used us as, as mats, sitting on them and shit. A nigger mat. Like a bare feet, yeah, like bare feet on your kids' back. Mm -hmm. it was like Uncle Tom's cabin. Yeah, yeah. it was at dinner and they had kids as footstool on the table while they were eating dinner. Yep. Yeah, some bullshit. Yeah, they probably was making rugs out of Jake. You know, they skinned the bears and animals and yeah. they were making uh, like like, clothes and everything. It was like eight years ago on e eBay, somebody they had to take a uh, jacket down and made a slave skin. Wow. Oh, like they got family heirlooms they'll pass down. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, that's what I'm saying. Especially in the South, you know. Yeah. So. Remember, remember that video that came out? It was like an old, old chair that had uh, hair. slave hair in it. Like, yeah. like, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yep. yep. yeah. 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 He got our ass. He got us. I get it, though. But like the scriptures say, it is good that I've been afflicted, that I may pay attention to thy judgments. Now we understand why our our mistake, you know, was a deadly one. Like in, in obedience is the best way. So anybody else got something? Yeah, there was one. Yeah. You gonna yeah, be that guy? You already know. Come on, come on, come on. Which one? This is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter one, verse thirteen. Come And it says, "But to which of the angels said he at my time, sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool?" Woo! Yeah, yeah. We know 
when your house shot comes and sets salvation, yeah. that's when Edom's going to be cast down. Yes, it. So yeah. you know yeah. for certainty that footstool is Edom. Because it says, Moab is thy wash pot, and Edom shall be thy shoe. Bro. You know, the lower extremity of service. The house is coming to put Edom under our feet. That's it. I got one. So with that, it says, Psalm 46 and 10, Be still, and know that I am the, I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. It's a lot. Woo. Be still and wait. Because think about it. This is not our fight. This is the most, he said he's a man of war, right? In 2 Chronicles 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, it said you can wait. This is his war. Yeah. This is not our fight. That's right. This is the, so we got to be still in the Lord to make his move. Yeah. So part of that deliverance of salvation will be through a lot of grim and deep, unbelievable shit. That's where salvation will come out of. Effects and signs, like yeah, it says in 2nd uh, second, second Edges. We're, we're, we're living. Away. That's right. It ain't my fight, shit. You know, you like a broadcast. You say you got to be for it. You got to come to person with an avatar of better. You see what I'm saying? Right. We got to ride the wave. Got to ride the wave. Believe and, and, and just only believe. That's the only way. What else are we going to do? We can't turn around. We can't look back. The only thing we can do is just move forward, man. So hopefully y'all are edified. With that, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh. 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 Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom.